King Charles is walking a tightrope between honoring the traditions of the monarchy and keeping the institution in line with modern times, according to former royal butler Paul Burrell. At the coronation concert held this month, the king tried to appear more in line with ordinary people after his mother the late Queen Elizabeth kept herself notoriously remote from the public. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Mr. Burl said the monarch had been taking part in more walkabouts and interacting with people on the street to make the royals more accessible to generations who are traditionally less supportive of the institution. Speaking exclusively to Spin Genie he said, I think that concert did herald a new era with all the younger royals dancing and waving their flags. I think you can see it becoming more in tune with ordinary people on the street, that's what Charles is heading for. You notice the walkabouts with all the royals, the king stopping his car on the mall and getting out to speak with people, all of that is to move towards being more recognizable and not so remote. Because the late queen to many people was a remote figure and they didn't quite understand who she was, unless you were in the inner circle like me who knew what a kind, Christian lady she was, that never came across. Recent polling has shown that younger people are less in favor of keeping the monarchy, as a YouGov survey found that just 36% of 18 to 24 year olds in the UK were in favor of the royals. This is in stark contrast to those aged 65 and above, with 79% of them wanting to keep the monarchy. In 2013, the royals were more popular with the younger generation, as 72% declared they were in favor of them. The Prince and Princess of Wales also appear to be more popular with young people than Charles and Camilla, as the couple often share snippets of their life on social media in a bid to connect with more youngsters. Royal commentators have dubbed Kate the savior of the monarchy, with former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond sighing she seems to grow more and more regal. Ms Bond told OK! Magazine, she can instantly connect because of the way she dresses and the way she acts, even just by wearing jeans or her trousers to engagements, she just makes it chic and relatable. Brand and media expert Jane Sykes told the publication that the princess is a perfect front woman for the Wales brand. Don't miss! King and Queen arrive at RHS Chelsea Flower Show to tour some special gardens, latest. Kate instantly connects with non-royals by breaking fashion tradition, style, William and Kate's new strategy to win over fans receives lukewarm response, insight, she added, the fact that Kate is able to talk eloquently about a number of issues, and make it feel authentic, really helps when you're dealing with social media, particularly. It's one thing to have an established brand like the monarchy. But to have someone like Kate is even better because we know that people prefer that human touch. After all, that's the reason brands have ambassadors, people want the human element. The royal family are lucky here in the fact they have a wonderfully natural and hugely popular spokesperson, 